I t- did I tell you about the time that one of the students at my high school was caught by the FBI um, for plotting to like shoot up the mall? <laughs> no, I have never no. heard this story. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I, I thought I might have said it before on the podcast. I guess not. Uh, no, definitely not. Well, anyway, he was he was planning on shooting up the local mall. Uh, and he sits like, I, rem- I remember his, he had like a little note or something, like a manifesto or something. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it a manifesto, it was very short. It was like, he said, and I quote, Nibba, I'm going to shoot up the mall or something like that. And maybe not quote, but <laughs> he said, Nibba, I'm going to shoot up the mall. Inshallah. But he actually said Nibba with the, with yeah, the B. Yeah, that's how he started. And then he ended with Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you sure this isn't a great. joke? I feel like this is a joke. No, no, he got arrested. He was like sent to prison. Um, oh my god! He's, he's serving time now. Um, yeah, so he was trying to like source guns and stuff. Uh, except the person he was contacting was an FBI agent. <laughs> so sucks to be him, I guess. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like something straight out of a fiction novel. Yeah, no, no, it's true. It happened. Um, so he was caught. He he got sent to prison, where he still wow. is to this day. Do you know how long he's serving? No idea. Did you I even know him? A long time. No, I had no idea who he was. Okay. Yeah, there was like two, three thousand kids, like I said, in my high school. I don't know anybody. It's the probability that one of them is a terrorist. Seems like one over three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we thought that was pretty crazy. That is very crazy. I mean, from the from the contents of the note, it sounds like. It was a joke, but then he actually tried to contact <laughs> and buy guns. That is insane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, so I don't have anything that is nearly up to that standard. <laughs> but what did happen at my middle school is we did have police called. And we had, like, uh-huh. TV vans come, local TV. And it was because some kid almost choked out another kid in the bathroom. There was, like, a fight, oh, sure. and got pretty serious like i think he was almost gonna choke him out and we had police was i don't even know what happened to it but i remember the classroom that i was in it had a window that just looked out to the parking lot and there was a news fan there and we were like what is happening and then when we had lunch uh we couldn't go into the bathroom <laughs> it was just cordoned off uh-huh. and we had no access and it was quite a quite a scene, and yeah, it, our middle school didn't have the best reputation. Um, it was not known to be a great middle school. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> How do you not lead with that story? How have I never heard that story? I mean, that's a pretty. I don't know. Story. I thought I would have told you that at some point. We, we, do, we... No, I've never even heard that in any conversation, like outside of the really? podcast. Even you haven't brought really? it up ever. Wait, that's like a huge inside joke in my friend group back home. Also, the the nipa, I'm gonna shoot up them all, inshallah, or whatever. <laughs> and then you follow it up with some like laughing emojis. <laughs> 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 I thought that was really funny. So we did. Very have... unprofessional terrorist. I mean, yeah. He's only seventeen. Well, wait, no, no, no. So was that note like they found it in his residence, or he posted it online on social? Uh, I think it's social media. He posted it publicly on social media. No, 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 definitely not publicly. Okay. Um. Oh no! Sorry, sorry. I remember it was Nipa. I'm gonna get martyred. (laughs) Inshallah, that was the quote. Uh, actually, if you Google that, you can probably identify the high school I go to. So, oh well, that's uh, wait. Say again, know. Nibba. Uh, Nibba, I'm gonna get martyred, inshallah. I have to search this up. I'm gonna get martyred. I'm just getting song lyrics, King Vong, all these <laughs> N-word lyrics. Oh Even really? Maybe. Oh well, I didn't put the Alshallah. Uh, I don't know how to spell that. No, it doesn't come up, actually. You're right. Um, maybe 
He didn't say that. <laughs> um, Whatever he says, he's going to be a... <laughs> your school, he's going to be one of those folk legends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. That is for sure going to be ingrained as part of your school's history. Jeez. Wait, so was that before or after the key cards? Oh, um, I don't know. All of this was sort of happening at the same time um, because people were sort of, that was the big thing, right? School shootings. Right. Like one all the time. Um, Pre-COVID, that's everything that the school is concerned about, pretty much. Right. And that, so, that's what I was, that's why I brought up the key cards thing because of the connection to school shootings. What I was going to say was I I can remember throughout my time in school from elementary school at the very young age all the way up to high school how there was like a change because in elementary school well I guess it was different but maybe you can speak to this too I went to a private elementary school but mm-hmm. either way we never did any kind of school shooting drills or anything the only kind of drills we did was earthquake and fire alarm we did tornado. Oh, I guess you don't no, really well, have yeah. tornadoes. We don't, we don't have tornadoes. Uh-huh. But, and in middle school, I can't remember ever doing school shooting drills either. We had fire alarm drills. But then in high school, I can distinctly remember we'd have school shooting drills sometimes where what we'd have to do is they would, uh, they'd like speak on the intercom and then we'd have to like cover all our windows like with drapes mm-hmm. or or blinds. Then we had to hide under the desks and we had to turn off the lights and we had to be like completely silent. Like, replicate kind of what right. would happen if that was actually happened. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I remember what it was two different things. We would have lockout and lockdown drills. Lockout right, is right. We would have both of those lockout is so. just you basically proceed as normal, but the exterior doors to the building were all like locked. And mm-hmm. Lockdown was like the one that I just described, where it's right. as if someone is inside of the building, an active threat. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you didn't yeah, have we those. A, we had a real lockout actually at one point. No, we had multiple uh, lockouts. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, like it's like because were... every time it's like a burglary in the yeah, area. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that happened kind of not frequently, but it happened more than a couple times. I can count. It might have happened a couple times. I yeah. Think. So, um, so in elementary school, did you have that kind of stuff? Yeah, so it, it sort of got more advanced with time. Like, we didn't distinguish between lockdown and lockout. We just had lockdown. Um, later on, they came out with this, like, graphic of, like, all the different kinds of drills or whatever. And, like, it's like, this is what you should do. And they had, like, colors. It was, like, color-coded, you know? Um, and so I don't know if I actually paid attention to what all that was. But there, there was like instructional videos of what to do, and they sort of like got more and more uh, complex, I guess you could say, uh, with their with their lockdown drills. Um, that's the change that I noticed. But you still had them in elementary school and middle school. Yeah, we still had them. I mean, I feel like the big change happened when Columbine happened, right? And that was before we were born. I don't know. Um, so. Yeah, that, that was like the big event, sort of, that set everything off. Yeah. And then I think Sandy Hook. Yeah. It's just sad Sandy that we can, <laughs> we can characterize, like, you know what is so sad? I only know the the city of San Bernardino in California because of mm-hmm. the shooting that happened there. And yeah. now whenever I hear, hear in the news... Of just San Bernardino or in conversation in passing when it doesn't even have to do with the shooting that's like the immediate connection that comes to my mind because yeah, that so. is how I first learned of this just from also the- Aurora Colorado that's the uh, movie theater one right exactly that's oh my the God. Know. <laughs> see that's uh, so bad yeah it's not good I mean Sandy Hook especially because you say that and people automatically think of what happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you say Columbine, people know. Yeah, exactly.